we came out here in January and do this outreach and 700 people got saved and just this big transformation that is happening here in this prison. Seeing these guys get baptized today, it was like a true repentance. When guys went out to the water, when they came up, you could just see the Spirit of God and just descending on them and saying, this is my sons who I'm well pleased in. It was just a beautiful, beautiful thing to see guys come out and just confess their sins and ask God for forgiveness for all the mistakes that they made to themselves and to their families. It was just an awesome thing to be a part of that, to witness that, seeing guys really give their life to the Lord. To me, it's a miracle. There's no other word for it, nothing short of a miracle, that these guys are allowed this opportunity in this way, with praise and worship and the group baptism. It could only happen with God's help, and New Hope is the only place I've ever seen it happen. They just ignited a fire in my heart that where I want to go out and just reach out to everybody. One of the greatest resources that God can use to reach the kingdom and the world for the kingdom of God is when church and state come together in partnership with one another. Isn't that true? It's not a separation of church and state. It's partnering up with one another and using that, yeah, and using that as a means to reach the world for Christ. And you, New Hope, has been so instrumental in bridging that gap between church and state. We've done a lot with our prison ministry at Sawar Prison as well as the others. But at Sawar itself, there has been a physical, a spiritual transformation that has taken place within the facility. We have seen men and women, I'm sorry, men, come out of that facility change for God. And have, their families are back together again. And the warden has been so impressed with the ministry of New Hope making a difference there that he wanted to come down personally to thank you for what you have done there. And so would you welcome Warden Todd Thomas as he comes out with Pastor Roy. <laughs> Warden Thomas, we want to thank you for just making the time to be here. And uh, by the way, this is not June Jones. Uh, this is the Warden. <laughs> He's been mistaken for June Jones in the past, but I know you wanted to share your heart and your aloha for the people here at New Hope. Thanks, Pastor El. Well, no, I'll take June Jones's check. Uh, <laughs> but, no, uh, came to Hawaii about two years ago and met with uh, Pastor Elwin uh, and Pastor Roy and the mainland branch and some of my coworkers out there with the Hawaii Department of Public Safety. And uh, Pastor Roy was telling me what he wanted to do, and Pastor Elwin wanted to come to Arizona, and it all sounded great. Everything was promises and going to do this and that. Uh, but I was focused on the prison, getting in. i uh, been open about seven months. And we had some issues. Anytime you start up a new prison, you do. Uh, you have some bumps in the road. But I can tell you, uh, two years later, as we sit now, they've done everything that they were going to do. Uh, how it affects the prison. Uh, we've had over a 60% reduction in incidents, negative events, fights, use of the force. Uh, all the bad things that, that you talk about inside a prison. And I can't thank these guys enough. I would like, if I can, some of the volunteers that came with Pastor Roy to stand up, because the, these are the folks that did the work. It, it makes our job easier. It's the right thing to do. It's safer for staff. It's safer for the guys that we're working with and hopefully turning out a better product than what we received. I uh, sat through the first service, and I tell you, uh, New Hope, you got an amazing place, uh, amazing folks, uh, amazing pastors, good people, and I'm just glad to be here. Uh, I could talk for 30 minutes. He told me two minutes. Uh, <laughs> but I wanted to come over and give this Bible to Pastor Roy. We gave him a plaque. Uh, we send letters, we send emails, we say thank you, and I couldn't find what's the right gift to, to give to a pastor, and my assistant said, give him a Bible. Uh, so I hope this stays with you as you come back for him, and, and, and we see more of you, and I can't wait till they come back. Any of you that find yourself in Arizona, uh, you're more than welcome to knock on the door, come by, and give us a look. Thank you so much. Thank you. Warden Thomas. <laughs> 